Hi everyone, my name is Maggie and I'm working as a student intern with Roxanne Patton, the dietitian for Connections Area Agency on Aging. And I'm going to be teaching you today how to make this delicious meal. It is a rice bowl with honey, lemon, chicken, and green beans. For this recipe, you're gonna need two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, about two cups worth of green beans. And I obviously have a lot more here, but you're just gonna need two cups worth, which is about 12 ounces. Um, or you could just get a bag of frozen, but I have fresh here. Soy sauce, rice vinegar or rice wine vinegar, chicken broth, I have the 40% less sodium version, cornstarch, honey, one lemon, ground ginger, minced garlic, crushed red pepper flakes, olive oil, salt and pepper. You're also going to need one large Ziploc bag, and I personally think that this recipe is the best with brown rice, and I just have the minute brown rice. You could use um, any type of brown rice or white rice that you have. So the first thing that I do is cut the chicken into little bite-sized pieces and also trim off the fat. So this is my chicken all cut up into the small bite-sized pieces and now I'm going to put all these pieces into the Ziploc bag. And I just put it on a plate just to make sure that none of the raw chicken gets anywhere. Then I wash my hands again. Now I'm going to add my soy sauce into the bag along with the rice vinegar. and two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Now I'm going to close the bag and mix it all around. So I'm going to place this whole thing in the fridge and let it marinate for at least 30 minutes, but the recipe says you can marinate for 30 minutes to eight hours and so I'll probably do only 30 minutes to an hour. And then I'm going to make sure to sanitize everything really well just because anytime you're working with raw meat, it's always really good to sanitize and make sure you're cleaning everything really well to avoid any contamination. So now it's time that we can prepare our green beans. And like I said, we're going to need two cups worth. Obviously this is a lot more. So I'm just gonna grab a couple handfuls and we're gonna trim them. Like I said, you could also use frozen green beans and that would come in that large bag that you find in the freezer section. Um, I did that last time I made this and it worked out really well. So that's another option. And first I'm going to rinse and wash my green beans really well. I have a different cutting board and a different knife than before. And when you are preparing green beans, you just want to snap off this little stem end and I'm going to line them all up and kind of cut them all at once. Um, as you can see, there's this end where it's like a little bit thinner and pointier and then there's like this stem end and we want to cut off the stem end. Now it's time to mix together the ingredients for the sauce. So for this, we need 3 fourths cup of low sodium chicken broth. We need the juice from one lemon. I'm adding 1 fourth cup of honey. Two tablespoons of cornstarch. One fourth teaspoon of ground ginger. one half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, then one clove of minced garlic, which is one half teaspoon if you're using a jar like this. And then we're just going to take a fork and whisk this all together until the cornstarch is no longer clumpy or visible. 
So now it's time to start cooking. Um, I've gotten out the small saucepan, which is going to be for the rice. And then I've gotten out the biggest pan that I have. So for the rice, I'm just using minute brown rice because it's ready in like 15 minutes. And so I'm going to follow the instructions for the two servings. Um, if you wanted more rice, of course you could do more, but I'm just gonna do the one for two servings. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my one cup of rice into my saucepan. And I'm not going to start cooking it yet, but I'm just gonna have it in there so that it's all ready to go when I'm ready to start cooking it. I put my rice in the saucepan and I also have my one cup of water ready to go, but like I said, not going to start it yet. So I'm going to add some oil into my pan. This is just extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to put the heat on to medium high. And I'm gonna let that heat up for just a little bit. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my green beans into the pan. I'm also adding a little bit of salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna transfer these just to another plate. Okay, so the green beans are set aside and I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil. So I'm taking the whole bag of chicken from um, where, it, where it's been marinating and I'm going to just add the whole thing to the pan. So I just separated it the chicken so that all of it is touching the surface of the pan and the heat is still on medium high and I'm just cooking until there is no longer pink on the inside and that should be about seven minutes. And now I'm going to just transfer the chicken onto a plate. So about now is also the time that I cook the rice and so I'm gonna just put this on to high and add my water until it reaches a boil. So now I'm taking our sauce and I gave it another quick stir to get any of the clumps out and I'm gonna pour it into that same pan and we're gonna just heat it up on medium high heat until it reaches a boil and then we're going to turn the heat down and let it simmer. So you can see that it's definitely starting to thicken. Okay, so now the sauce is super thick and what we do now is just add everything back into this pan. So I'm adding the chicken and the green beans back into here. Also now our water is boiling for the rice. So just turn it down and cover it and this takes 10 minutes. So if you did decide to use frozen green beans, then you would just microwave them, and then in this step is when you would just add them into the pan. So for the rest of the time that the rice is cooking, I just kind of put this on to very low heat and let the flavors all mix together. The rice is done when there isn't any water left, and so this looks like it is just about done. I like to use brown rice as opposed to white rice because it has more fiber. So it is time to eat. My favorite way to eat this is by filling up my bowl with some rice. Then I add the chicken and green beans on top. And if you want to be fancy, you can even add some sesame seeds. This is one of my favorite meals to make because not only is it nutritious, but it's also super fun to make and it tastes so good. It's like Chinese takeout, but healthier. So I hope you all try this and thank you so much for watching.